hey guys and welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be discussing jewelry from different brands and i hope that you will like this video and will find it interesting by the way guys please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and follow me on my instagram account which is the same as my youtube account black and gold style Please also consider checking out my other playlists. I posted quite a few videos about Cartier, Van Cleef & Arpels, Bulgari, Rolex, luxury tips and mistakes, Dior, jewelry, weekly vlogs, style and fashion, Chanel bags, luxury shopping vlogs, beauty products and travel videos. I will start with Chopard. It is a Swiss brand and it was founded in 1860s. And I have recently discovered this brand for myself and I'm absolutely in love with a few items. I even added some of this to my wish list. And Chopard also has very beautiful watches as well. And I have to say the prices for these watches are a lot more affordable than, for example, prices at Cartier or at Rolex. However, there is one thing to note. The warranty at Chopin is actually a lot shorter. It's only two years, while warranty at Rolex is five years and the warranty for Cartier watches is actually seven years. But why the warranty makes such a huge difference? So for example, if I were to fix my Rolex watch, I was told that it will cost me at least a thousand dollars. If you have a warranty for five years and something were to happen to the watch, for example, you need to re-oil it, it's not a huge issue, but it can happen. So at least you don't have to pay for it. Things like that can make a huge difference. That's why the warranty is very important Another thing to note is the resale value. Of course, none of us is considering to resell the items, but it's good to have the choice. I would say that Cartier and of course Rolex would be a far better investment, especially Rolex because they only go up in value and it's pretty hard to find them in store. And now you're required to have a purchasing history in order to buy it. Without it, you won't get even offered a watch and that means that the resale value of the watch will definitely go up. I'm so in love with the few collections. For example, these earrings are so stunning. And I also saw a bracelet. There is also a ring and a pendant. And they are all incredible. I have to say they are a little bit heavy but they look so pretty and I really like Mother of Pearl. The earrings and the ring are on my wish list. Of course, I'm going to take some time because I want to finish off my Van Cleef and Arpels collection first, but then I think I will add a couple of items from Chopard. And these ones are so stunning and classic and I feel like I'll be able to wear them quite often. This design also comes in white gold with diamonds. It's very beautiful, but I feel like the mother of pearl is so much more flattering and I feel like it suits everyone. I'm usually not a huge fan of the pink gold, but this combination is so pretty and I really like it. I also like the fact that the jewelry from this brand is a bit more affordable. Well, don't get me wrong, it's still expensive, but it seems to be a bit more affordable than, for example, some collections from Van Cleef and Arpels. While the brand doesn't have much stock in the stores, but they can always accommodate you and pre-order, which is very useful and I hope that it will not change. The stock in some stores has always been an issue since 2020. I hope it will change in the future and that we will have a lot more items available, especially that the pandemic is going away, while well, fingers crossed. Chomet was founded in 1780. 
It is a French brand and it's actually part of LVMH group and it's such a gorgeous brand. Actually, it's the latest discovery for me. And I noticed that the brand has so many beautiful items in the pink gold. Actually, in the store, I mostly saw items in pink gold or some items are in white gold as well. I did not really see anything in yellow gold, which is quite interesting. But I have to say the shade of the pink gold is really gorgeous and the designs are quite unique. The bracelets look amazing and I really like the way they complement Cartier Love bracelet that I'm wearing at the moment. And it is also very comfortable, it feels great on my wrist. If you're looking for a perfect bracelet for your stack, I would highly recommend Chomet. However, this brand is not very popular and not many countries have the stores. I hope that in the future they will expand to more countries because I think that their jewelry is so unique and so gorgeous. When it comes to the price, yes, it's expensive, but not as expensive as Cartier. By the way, my favorite collection from this brand is Be My Love. It's absolutely gorgeous. Of course, other collections are beautiful and worth checking out. The brand has a lot of dancy designs and they look so good with other jewelry as well. A lot depends on your personal preference and what you feel comfortable to wear. Also, the shade of the pink gold is very flattering. It's not very pink and it looks great with other metals as well. It's definitely worth checking out. And also another good thing is that the store had a lot of jewelry. I was able to see all the items that I wanted to check out. And usually this is not always the case due to the stock. Also, the brand produces watches, which is quite interesting. Moving on to Boucheron, which is such a gorgeous brand. It was founded in 1858 in France and I actually discovered it via Korean dramas that I have been watching. Their jewelry appears in so many shows and it's so beautiful. I just had to go to the store and check it out. I noticed that their yellow gold is actually very, very yellow. The shade is definitely different from Cartier or from Van Cleef and Arpels. I think it's very important to come to the store and try it on in person because I feel like this shade of yellow gold may not suit every single skin tone. Also, their earrings are stunning. And there were many different designs, but I specifically wanted to try on these ones because I think they're quite unique. Also, I prefer the bigger size earrings, I feel like they flatter me more. However, I have to say that this particular design has such a thick post. I literally could not put it through my ear, it was so painful and uncomfortable. And I cannot imagine how it would feel to put them on every single time. I guess I understand why they made the post very thick. Because there is nothing else to prevent it from sliding and coming off. But still, I wish they were a lot more comfortable and easy to put on. Of course, the studs don't have such problem, but a lot depends on the design that you prefer. I actually prefer the bigger size. It is such a shame because I actually absolutely love this particular style. They are so stunning and I like that they are so flattering. By the way, I have to say that the price tag of this brand is very expensive. It's a lot higher than Van Cleef and Arpels and Cartier. This is something to note. Also, the brand has beautiful watches. They are very elegant. Although I did not see that many designs in the store, it doesn't seem like they have a huge selection, but it's interesting to check them out. Anyways, guys, this is it. I hope that you liked this video and found it interesting. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. And follow me on my Instagram account, which is the same as my YouTube account, black and gold style. 
Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.